Welcome to your CCPS Science Review Lab. Today I want to start off talking about sports, sort of. We're going to talk about football. Okay, and what I've created here is, or what I've shown here, is a bit of an organization chart um, that breaks down the NFL, the National Football League, um, into its different bits and parts. Okay, when you look at it, you see the NFL is broken down into two conferences, the AFC and the NFC, and then each of those conferences is broken down into divisions. Those divisions are then broken down into four teams each. Can you relate what you're seeing in this chart to anything we've learned about in biology? Well, to me, it's very reminiscent, it reminds me, of our hierarchy of living things. We've talked in the past about a biosphere, right? That's talking about all living things. And we know within a biosphere, we have different communities broken down into different populations. And each population can be broken down into different organisms. Then we started in seventh grade really honing in on all the bits and parts of those organisms, right? We talked about the different body systems or organ systems. The organ systems were made of organs. Those organs were broke. We could break them down into tissue. The tissues could be broken down into cells. Cells have different parts called organelles. The organelles are made up of molecules and the molecules were made up of atoms. Okay, the idea of go, being that we go from a very large category to smaller categories that make up that big category. Let me see if I can explain it a little better with this chart. So we talk about living things or our biosphere and we kind of compare it to football. Okay, maybe we've got an organism, so that's a living thing. And then I talk about a complex living thing, like let's say a human. And we're going to compare that human to the league, the NFL, the National Football League, right? We could take that organism, that human, and we can break it down into different organ systems. We've got a muscular system. We've got a cardiovascular system. We've got a reproductive system. We've got a digestive system. In football, we take that league and we break it down into two conferences, right? We had the AFC and the NFC. Now let's go back to that biosphere again, or that human. That human had organ systems, and you could break that organ system, each organ system, down into different different organs. So my digestive system might be made up of my tongue, my esophagus, my stomach, maybe my intestines. Those are different organs that are part of the organ system. So let's say that again. The organs are each part of a different organ system. Same way that our divisions... Okay, made up our conferences. You had our conference broken down into different divisions. Okay, going back to our organism, we've got those organs broken down into tissues. Okay, divisions are broken down into teams. Take that tissue, we break it down into different cells. The same way your team can be broken down into your offensive and your defensive line. And then when we start breaking our, our human down to the very teeny tiniest part, we take those cells and we can break them down into molecules. And even further than that, we can break them down to atoms. The offensive and defensive lines could be broken down into individual team members. Okay, so your big idea is that in biology, just like in football, you start with a big organizational structure and then it gets broken down into smaller bits and pieces. I'd like you to go back and show what you know. Okay, here I've shown sort of an image of different human body systems. I'm wondering if you can name three of the different systems and then in each of those systems I want you to remember three different organs that would be part of each system and fix it so that that reads correctly. So you're going to name three different organ systems and then three organs for each of those systems. That's how you're going to show what you know. Good luck!